a US nuclear powered submarine struck an object underwater in the South China Sea on October 2, 2021, according to two defense officials. While the submarine remains in a safe and stable condition, almost 11 sailors have been injured. But apparently it's still unclear what the Sea Wolf class submarine may have hit while it was submerged. Section 51 Hi everyone, what's up guys, Dos Geek here with Section 51, thanks again for your support. Before starting, please hit that like button and share this new video right now to keep supporting Section 51. And let's get back, this time, underwater. Let's watch this video until the end. Do you remember when we talked in previous videos about USOs? USO for Unidentified Submersible Object. It has often been said that we know more about the surface of the moon than we do about the world's seas and oceans. For years, strange phenomena have been reported by people at sea, especially by navies around the globe. Although many of the USO files of the Soviet and Russian Navy remain secret, some have become available due to the painstaking efforts of dedicated researchers. For example, Paul Stonehill and Philip Mantol revealed in a book published in 2016, Russia's USO Secrets, strange encounters by the Soviet and Russian Navy with things that are not supposed to exist. While most of these stories have never been told outside of Russia or the former Soviet Union, they provided yet more evidence that we are not alone and that the depth of the oceans may not be as empty as we think. Indeed, all these stories suggest a permanent presence of something unusual in the depths of Earth's large bodies of water. Even if it is still very difficult to know exactly what is in the depths, USOs, aliens, shipwrecks, or strange creatures, it is certain that there is something. And what happened these last days to the Sea Wolf class nuclear attack submarine USS Connecticut SSN-22 is just another evidence of the authenticity of all these testimonies. The nuclear submarine suffered an underwater collision while operating in international waters on October 2 and then returned to Port of Guam, a US naval base assigned to the 7th Fleet in Philippines, as it was officially confirmed by a US Pacific Fleet spokesman, Captain Bill Clinton. The Sea Wolf class fast attack submarine USS Connecticut struck an object while submerged on the afternoon of October 2nd while operating in international waters in the Indo Pacific region. The safety of the crew remains the Navy's top priority. There are no life threatening injuries. The submarine remains in a safe and stable condition. USS Connecticut's nuclear propulsion plant and spaces were not affected and remain fully operational. The extent of damage to the remainder of the submarine is being assessed. The US Navy has not requested assistance. The incident will be investigated. The underwater strike occurred in the South China Sea and 11 sailors were hurt in the incident with moderate to minor injuries. The accident happened as tensions between the US and China soared over the Chinese military's incursions into Taiwan's air defense identification zone. The Connecticut was operating in the waters around the South China Sea as the US and its allies have been carrying out a major multinational show of force in the region laid by the United Kingdom's Carrier Strike Group 21. The ongoing operations saw exercises with ships from the US, UK, Japan, Australia, Canada and the Netherlands, including three aircraft carriers training in and around the South China Sea. Could the US submarine have hit a Chinese submarine? Could it be a mistake or a bullying maneuver? I don't think so, because apparently no radar signal was officially reported. Which means that, if we follow this hypothesis, it couldn't be a simple underwater mountain, a shipwreck, or an hostile submarine. 
No, these obstacles and objects should have been automatically detected by radars. And moreover, no malfunction in the submarine detection devices has been officially reported. So this obstacle or this strange object must be organic or made with some unknown materials. The last known instance where a submerged US submarine struck another underwater object was in 2005. But it was confirmed by radar that USS San Francisco, SSN 711, struck an underwater mountain at full speed near Guam. One sailor died in the incident. So under these conditions, what happened? We have two options left. Firstly, could it be a giant underwater creature living in the deep? What creature could be huge enough to do such damage to a nuclear submarine and to hurt so many sailors? To our knowledge, no creature like the blue whale, the whale shark, the sperm whale or giant manta rays are big enough to do it. However, these creatures are some of the largest sea animals known in the world. Some of them can reach the size of a Boeing 373. Is it possible that even bigger creatures live in the depths? Is there a kraken hiding in the China Sea? Godzilla? Or maybe a giant plesiosaur, the biggest underwater dinosaur that lived 205 million years ago? Secondly, could the USO, an unidentified submersible object, have hit the US submarine? We saw in previous videos that the US Navy has reportedly encountered underwater UFOs that were moving incredibly fast. In May 2021, documentary filmmaker Jeremy Corbell revealed a stunning video leaked from the US Navy and showing some spherical shaped UFO or advanced transmedium vehicle filmed and photographed by the USS Omaha on July 15 of 2019 while it was diving into the ocean. No craft and no wreckage were found after the incident. We also have the famous USS Trepang UFO incident that happened in 1971. I will put the links of these videos in the description below. I strongly encourage you to consult them. When we look at the long list of UFO sightings reported all over the world, more than half these UFO sightings happen over water. Many of these phenomena are seen bursting from the ocean into the sky. 95% of the world's oceans still have not yet been explored. So it is impossible for us today to have an exact idea of all the alien activity in the oceans. Does it mean that aliens lurk in our oceans? And if so, what are they doing? What are they planning? Are they using the depths of oceans to hide their bases? Where? In the Bermuda Triangle? Many times, the US Navy has picked up sonar data showing mysterious fast-moving objects underwater that cannot be explained by experts or current technology. Washington examiners Tom Rogan said in May 2021 that US Navy has the data to prove the bizarre encounters. According to him, there is an undersea dimension to this, on top of what the pilots are seeing above water. So we know now that there is some unexplained activity under the surface of the water. If they are aliens, how did they get here? Is this an ancient civilization living under the water? Or are these aliens from distant planets? How do they travel? Are there interdimensional portals in the oceans? It would be the best place to hide from the sight of human beings. What do you think? What is really happening in our oceans? What really struck the USS Connecticut in China Sea? All we know for the moment is that this incident is still investigated. But even if the experts could identify a USO as the source of the incident, would the US Navy officially reveal it to the public? I don't think so. And yet, I'm sure they have the means to identify what caused such damage. It generally doesn't go unnoticed as easily. So what can we expect? Maybe one day, 
a leak from one of the US Navy personnel will reveal to us what really happened that day in the China Sea. Time will work for us. Please let me your comments here below the video if you want to react. Section 51 is on social networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Hit that like button and that bell button too. Share the video. Subscribe to Section 51. Talk about Section 51 around you because people need to know. This was Does Geek with Section 51. I'll be back really soon. Open your eyes, watch the sky, live long and prosper.